Quick question. How likely will it be for a verse that you've never heard before to pop into your mind in the midst of your storm? There's a saying, store his word as choice and soon you'll hear his voice. This video is part of a growing series to help you to store the word of God in your heart and in your mind. So I invite you to continuously listen to these verses. And remember, store his word as choice and soon you'll hear his voice. So let's get started on a topic. Facing the future. Your word is a lamp that gives light wherever I walk. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You lead humble people to do what is right and to stay on your path. Teach me to follow, Lord, and lead me on the right path because of my enemies. You say to me, I will point out the road that you should follow. I will be your teacher and watch over you. Let the Lord lead you and trust Him to help. I depend on you, and I have trusted you since I was young. Your advice has been my guide, and later you will welcome me in glory. Think of the bright future waiting for all the families of honest and innocent and peace-loving people. But not a trace will be left of the wicked or their families. The Lord protects His people and they can come to Him in times of trouble. The Lord helps them and saves them from the wicked because they run to Him. Put your cares on the Lord and He will be your support. He will not let the upright man be moved. And when I was burdened with worries, you comforted me and made me feel secure. You were in serious trouble, but you prayed to the Lord, and He rescued you. All of you worship the Lord, so you must trust Him to help and protect you. With all your heart, you must trust the Lord, and not your own judgment. Always let Him lead you, and He will clear the road for you to follow. You will be safe if you always do right, but you will be caught if you are dishonest. Accept correction and you will find life. Reject correction and you will miss the road. Worry is a heavy burden, but a kind word always brings cheer. Without good advice, everything goes wrong. It takes careful planning for things to go right. We make our plans, but the Lord decides where we will go. Pay attention to advice and accept correction so you can live sensibly. We may make a lot of plans, but the Lord will do what He has decided. Don't be jealous of sinners but always honour the Lord, then you will truly have hope for the future. Wisdom is like honey for your life. If you find it, your future is bright. Selfish people cause trouble, but you will live a full life if you trust the Lord. Only fools would trust what they alone think, but if you live by wisdom, you will do all right. But those who trust the Lord will find new strength. They will be strong like eagles, soaring upward on wings. They will walk and run without getting tired. Don't be afraid, I am with you. Don't tremble with fear. I am your God. I will make you strong, as I protect you with my arm and give you victories. I will bless you with a future filled with hope, a future of success not of suffering. You will turn back to me and ask for help, and I will answer your prayers. 
You will worship me with all your heart, and I will be with you and accept your worship. But more than anything else, put God's work first and do what He wants, then the other things will be yours as well. Don't worry about tomorrow, it will take care of itself. You have enough to worry about today. My sheep know my voice, and I know them. They follow me, and I give them eternal life, so that they will never be lost. No one can snatch them out of my hand. I give you peace, the kind of peace that only I can give. It isn't like the peace that this world can give. So don't be worried or afraid. You have already heard me say that I am going and that I will also come back to you. I have told you this so that you might have peace in your hearts because of me. While you are in the world, you will have to suffer. But cheer up, I have defeated the world. We know that God is always at work for the good of everyone who loves Him. They are the ones God has chosen for His purpose. But we live by faith, not by what we see. God is the one who began this good work in you, and I am certain that He won't stop before it is complete on the day that Christ Jesus returns. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Then, because you belong to Christ Jesus, God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand, and this peace will control the way you think and feel. Christ gives me the strength to face anything. I pray that God will take care of all your needs with the wonderful blessings that come from Christ Jesus. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts and be grateful. But if any man among you is without wisdom, let him make his request to God, who gives freely to all without an unkind word, and it will be given to him. Be humble in the presence of God's mighty power, and he will honor you when the time comes. God cares for you, so turn all your worries over to him. I am the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus answered. Without me, no one can go to the Father. But we are citizens of heaven and are eagerly waiting for our Saviour to come from there, our Lord Jesus Christ. He will wipe all tears from their eyes and there will be no more death, suffering, crying or pain. These things of the past are gone forever.